everyone and welcome back to my channel. We're down here in my craft room where I'm kind of getting things set up for next week. It's the long weekend and I haven't been, I'm, I'm not going to be doing a lot this weekend. I did finish up sewing the signatures into the current journal that I'm working on. So I'll give you a sneak peek of that in a second, but I was glad to finally get that done. I have a few things to put away. I'll kind of walk around and kind of show you just uh, some new things that I got. And then you can see over here, there's this kind of strange contraption that I'll show you. I picked up from Amazon that I thought would be really interesting to make kind of a point of view uh, video. So I'll kind of explain in a second. But first of all, I picked up the Maggie Holmes round trip collection from scrapbook.com. I didn't even realize they had it until I got a notification email. And so of course I had to go over and see what it looked like. And it's got really cute patterns. It's a travel theme. So it has a lot of airplanes and suitcases, but of course it's got florals and the words, words, stickers and all that kind of thing. I got the puffy stickers, which it's so cute. It has this little taxi cab here, which I love. Lots of florals and um, there's some flip-flops, uh, different, just different travel themed icons and then the usual stickers they're kind of the vellum type stickers and then they have the little little sentiments here different things like that and then I'll do let me do a quick flip through of the 12 by 12 paper pad this was the only thing I got they had some single sheets that um, you could purchase separately but I figured I just get the the 12 by 12 I think I mentioned before the only 12 by 12 paper pads I, I'll buy is Maggie Holmes because I'll definitely use all the papers that are in it so there are a couple floral pages that I really like, so I'll just do a quick flip through here. Lots of options. I, I love the florals, of course, but then there's really cute. I love this uh, kind of collage page, too, because these are great to cut out and use in journaling. And this is kind of nice, too. This is a kind of a old-fashioned looking travel notebook, or uh, not notebook, like kind of newspaper article, maybe, or some kind of... I don't know what that is, but I don't know. I think it would be good for, for a journal. Nice patterns. I like that too with the airplanes. Strawberries. Love that. And then really nice florals. So a little bit of everything. Looks like you just get one sheet. So it's quite a big variety. This is my favorite. Love this. Really nice. So that'll be nice to work with. I also got the ephemera pack, which I'll show you in a second because I'm going to show you it through this little contraption that I got. This is from Amazon and I was looking for something. So I didn't even know if it existed or not. I had, I, I wanted to do a video showing me cleaning up my craft room, but I wanted it, you to see it from my point of view so you could kind of see how I put things back where they belong and how quickly I can get cleaned up because I have things kind of organized in a certain way. So I was sort of trying to explain kind of efficiency of a craft room. So I didn't even know if something existed that you could wear kind of on yourself that could hold your iPhone. I know there's GoPros and things like that, but you use a separate camera for that. But I was looking for a, a phone holder and I didn't want what I'm using now, which is just kind of a one-handed thing. Um, I wanted to be able to use both hands. So I, I ended up, I actually ordered three different ones to try. I returned two of them and I ended up with this one, which I really like. And it doesn't really have a name. It's just, I can put a, put a link to it, um, but this is the box it came in. So it's basically, you wear it around your neck and you can adjust it so it can fit higher or lower around your neck. Your phone goes in there and you can tighten that and it stays in there really well. And then you wrap this strap around the back of you and around and then it clips, you bring it back to the front and hook it through the front of this neck thing that's around your neck. And then you can walk around with your phone in front of you and kind of do things with it. So I'm gonna uh, put in some other film that I did showing me wearing this. And I'm actually gonna flip through the ephemera pieces from the round trip and you can kind of see what it looks like from my point of view or your point of view. And you can you can comment, let me know if you think it looks weird or if you think I should definitely use it for a video. So here it goes. So here's what it looks like when I have it on. So it's just kind of strapped around my neck and there's a strap, the strap that goes underneath 
behind my back and underneath and then hooks up in the front here. But it's nice. It stays very still when I'm walking and then I'm able to do things, you know, like flip through my papers and you can see, um, you know, if I do like a cleanup video or something like that, you can kind of see me do stuff like that. Or even if I just want to quickly show something like, um, you know, I can flip through. This is, in fact, I'll show you these ephemera pieces really quick from round trip. And you can kind of see it from this point of view. Let me know what you think. Leave me a, a comment and let me know if this is like strange looking or if you actually don't even notice that I have this or don't even notice that it's kind of a different point of view or, you know, let me know. I'm, I'm just curious. Um, so anyway, this is uh, round trip. This is the actually there's another little pack, um, the ephemera pieces. So it's gold. There's kind of like some gold pieces in there and all the usual kind of Maggie Holmes type stuff that you get in there. The florals, of course, are my favorite. Butterflies. Um, little suitcase. It's really cute. Love these flowers here. I'm kind of looking down as I'm doing this, so it's hard. It's actually harder for me to see, but it might actually be easier for you to see on your end. So I like those a lot. Some words. And then with the whole travel theme, you get the, the airplane. I love that. Be great for a travel journal, you know, to do a bunch of little collage pages in a travel journal. So frames and little background pieces. Got all kinds of stuff in here. So, so I like this. I'm going to try and make a video of, after I do kind of a card making session, I'm going to make a video of me cleaning up because I want to show you um, kind of some tips on keeping your craft room more efficient. Okay, so I'm excited to, to do that. I want to definitely make a video, kind of a cleanup video or something to try and um, use use that. And I can I can definitely use it for other things too, just even creating I think it would be nice because I can use two hands and it can be sort of facing front a little bit you can see a little bit different or maybe even for coloring too it might work so so that's everything over here I took a trip to a thrift store and I found some really great old magazines I got this family circle from 1967 it's got some really great pictures in it Family Circle is great because it's got the recipes, it has clothing, it has it's a little bit of everything in it, fashion. So this will be really nice. And I, I don't know if you can see it, maybe you can see this in the, the, the video, this kind of patina here. I love this. This is just kind of just the paper being old and kind of, it almost looks like you took a, a distress ink and put it along the edge of the paper, but it just, but this is natural. So I think it looks really good. So I got this one and then I also found this uh, Ethan Allen catalog. This is from 19... 1976. And I love this because you can see what was in style for the time as far as furniture and home interiors is concerned. So kitchens, dining rooms, lots of, lots of wood. So I don't know. It's just kind of kind of fun to flip through. I could I could sit and just have coffee and flip through this whole thing and just spend the day doing that. It's just um it's just fun to go through. And then I also found this vintage gift wrap. There was a there was a bunch of them and these are the ones that I really like. I love this kind of orange color, the orange and white flowers. This one and then I got this one which it doesn't say that it's wedding. It kind of looks like a wedding bouquet, but I think you could use it for anything. So I thought that was a great find. And then I also got, I love to, every once in a while I'll find these tins and I always want to get them all, but I just picked up one. I thought that it would be good for storage. This one has strawberries because I've been on a, kind of a strawberry kick. So, so I was just cleaning off the, I was using some Goo Gone to get off the, the label that was on it. So this is all ready to put things in. So I've got to put that away. I also got just an order in from, this was, I had talked about this in a previous, I think a haul video. This was from Stampendous. I got the butterfly frame and I was waiting for the floral frame to come in. I just picked this up off of Amazon because it was kind of hard to find. And I just love this. It's so cute with the flowers. 
So I'll definitely be making some flower cards with this and then the butterfly cards with the other one. And then Paper Tray, Paper Tray Ink had a new release and I just picked up the Posies and Sprigs stamp and die set. And then also this really pretty Dahlia set, which comes with stencils. So you can color in the flowers with the stencil. And I love doing that. So, so that's really, that's a good one. And then my Spellbinders embossing folder of the month came in and it is a, this is, no, this is right side up. And it's a sunburst pattern. So that'll be really nice to ink blend with like yellows and oranges on a card. I think that will look really good. So I'm excited to try that. So over here, I wanted to kind of show you, I finished up my journal and I'll give you a sneak peek just of kind of what it's gonna be looking like. I'm onto my favorite part, which is putting in all the ephemera. So I'm using a, this is an old, it's a, I guess a children's reader. It's a, called my word book. So I was trying to, I was having a hard time figuring out if I should have a theme for it or just kind of have a random smattering of different things in the book. So I kind of settled on a little bit of a theme. And so it's going to be kind of a library things, uh, of like a tea, teacups and like sit, like being comfortable, kind of a comforting journal because I put a lot of extra journaling pages in it. So there's a lot of places to write. So I was thinking of, you know, sitting in a, a living room or a, a, a library that has lots of books in it and you can kind of sit and read or journal and kind of that, that feeling of comfort. So that's kind of what this book is going to be like. So uh, I'll just show you really quick. It's, it's four signatures and just a couple of, I'll just do a quick sneak peek. I don't want to show you everything yet because it's not quite done. It's not done. I still have to add like the little flips and everything, but that's kind of what it looks like right now. And then I got all the, the stitching in there, which turned out really well. And I'm really happy with that. I used a lot of October afternoon in the journal. So this is kind of my leftovers. I save every scrap of October afternoon that I have left over. So I used summertime, thrift shop, public library. Um, this one is milk money. That's kind of a school themed one. This is thrift shop, uh, schoolhouse, or no, this is, what is this? Um, oh, yeah, I guess it is called schoolhouse. So lots of, and then this one, oh, the strawberry one is summertime, which I love. So I used all of these pages in here, so I've got to go put these away. And then, so I have my table all set up for kind of getting started on the ephemera part of the, the journal. And my first plan, I think, is to go through, I'm going to go through my scrap box. So I've got all these scraps from, you know, what everything except October afternoon. I always keep that in a separate, and I put it back in my October afternoon container. But this is all kind of scraps from other projects that I've done. And I keep it's if it's smaller, if it's like just a little strip, I usually don't keep it unless it's like a really good pattern, you know, like a gingham or something like that. So I have it all in here. So I'm going to go through this container and kind of pick out some coordinating papers to go inside the book to make little flips and, you know, unfolding things and stuff where you can like do hidden journaling and things like that. So that's kind of my first step. And then I've already picked out some pieces of ephemera, like some vintage things. And I always stick that over here in my little bake shop display. And I've got like bingo cards. So I picked out anything that kind of color coordinated with the book. I've got, I still have to go through my stickers. I gotta grab some more stickers, but I kind of went through recipe cards, postcards, lined pages. Um, I've got a little recipe uh, card here just to kind of go along with the tea theme. So I, I'm not going to use, I, I may use all of it. I may not use some of the pieces, but I just kind of want to have some stuff to work with. I didn't want to get too much stuff out because I don't want to get, I find if I have too much out, then I get overwhelmed by too many products. So I just have a few things out. If I think of something, I can go look for it and, and pick something else out. I'm gonna go in my sticker drawer and kind of get some more, to, some stickers to go, because I like some flat pieces too. And I need to add uh, trim probably to some of the pages as well. And then I think I'm gonna make a collage page with this little 
grouping of items that I got from uh, an Etsy shop. So I'm going to do that because it's got the, the blues and everything that I think will go with the book. And then what I also do is kind of keep out, get all my regularly used tools close by. So I've got my mini guillotine trimmer. This is, you know, if I need to trim down some ephemera pieces, it's just, it fits on the table. It's small enough. I can use that. And then I've got, this is my new daisy punch that I got, my daisy border punch that I want to make sure I use for this journal because it looks really cute when you punch it along the edges of the pages. And then I've got just my little tool caddy here that's got some, a pencil for measuring, bone folder, ruler. And then I've got all of my, I always use a ton of uh, the score tape. So I have all my different rolls of score tape and I keep it on this little holder here. This is called the, what is this called? Oh, the score tape stacker. This really comes in handy. So I just have all my score tape on here. I still have to get out my uh, scissors and my tape runner too. So I'll have that ready to go. And then that's pretty much everything. Oh, and I'm also going to, uh, I decided I really want to, Put a lot of cluster embellishments in the book kind of to decorate some of the blank scrapbook pages so I'm gonna I've got this tray ready to go that I'm gonna kind of put together some ephemera so I can kind of cluster those things together and then I, I found this at a uh, thrift shop this is drawer liner paper I don't even know if people still use this or not it's, it's actually scented and it's from the 80s and I love it because it and I pulled it out because it kind of matches the book so I figure I can use it for a pocket or something it's actually it's pretty thick it's probably about as thick as a piece of scrapbook paper so it's nice it'll be nice to work with and um, it still has some of the scent on it too so it kind of it's but it's not like overpowering or anything so I'm gonna try to figure out a way I can use that and that's pretty much it um, so I'm just going to kind of put my stuff away and get ready for the rest of the weekend and get started on this book next week. So let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in my next video.